Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to hide confidential information on your OneNote pages so that you can share screenshots of your pages. Now, I myself am an avid OneNote fan, and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving ahead. I'm a YouTube creator, blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com, and I host the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. Now, this question of how to share a, a screenshot of your OneNote page with confidential information has come up in several journaling communities that I'm a part of. Many of us love to share screenshots, but the reality is sometimes there's information on your page that you just can't or don't want to share. So in this video, I'm going to teach you three different ways to hide information on your page so that you can create a screenshot without showing data that you don't want to. Now, I do want to make it clear, I want to give you a little warning, that the methods I'm showing you in this video are just to cover up your data or hide it so that you can make a screenshot. It doesn't actually hide the data from someone that has access to your OneNote page. So if you give someone uh, edit or read-only permissions on your page, they will still be able to see your data. This is about hiding it for the purpose of making a screenshot. So I have three methods to show you, and they're both they're good they're good to be used in different settings. So method number one is to use the highlight function, which is in the text format menu. So I'm going to come over to my sample page here. I've got some data here to show you, and um, you can hide um, lines of text very easily by using a, a highlighter line over them. Now, just to show you what I mean, most of us are familiar um, with using a bright fluorescent colored highlighter, you know, maybe for studying or something. So just to make sure you understand what that highlighter is, I'm going to show that to you. So I'm going to um, select this first line of text. I'm going to come up to the Home menu, and this is where you'll find most of your text formatting options. I'm going to go to this Highlight option, and I'm going to click Yellow. So that should look fam you know, familiar if you've ever used a highlighter pen. Um, but this obviously doesn't hide the client name, so I'm going to undo that. And now I'm going to go ahead and hide them. So I'm going to select all of these client names. I'm going to go uh, back to the Home menu and into this Highlight function. I'm going to select the color black. Now you can see that those client names are thoroughly covered up. Um, you can see that there's a list, and you can see that it's numbered, but you can't actually see the client name. So um, that's our first method, method, is to put a heavy black highlight uh, which is found in the text formatting menus. So you can put that over lines of text. That's a great method to uh, use when you are just hiding one or more lines of text. Now the second menu is to use the drawing pen to just cross over or you know scribble out something. You could use this for text. Um, it's actually very well suited when you have something like a, a graphical element or a graph or something with an irregular shape that you want to draw over. So I'm going to go ahead back to my sample page. And this um, upper graph here, the one with the orange line, if I wanted to hide this from my presentation um, or from a screenshot, I'm going to click the Draw menu. I'm going to go to Color and Thickness. And I'm going to select one of these nice thick pens, and I'm going to select the color black. Um, I'm just going to come in here and scribble over my line. And if you notice, I'm scribbling a much larger area than my line actually covers. And that's just to make sure that my um, I don't give anything away. Like if I just went right over the line, they could still see that it's an upward sloping sign and line, and that might be more data than I want to give away. So this way, um, whoever is looking at this could see that it's a graph, and they could see that um, my ax axes and what I'm measuring, but they can't actually see the data on there. So my third method is just to paste a shape over um, any element on a page or a section of a page. So I created this just solid orange box. I did this in Google Drawing, uh, which is a great free program that comes free with a Gmail account. Um, so I just created this orange box, but you could use any graphic program like Canva or any other program to create a simple sh uh, geometric shape like this. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to come back, and I'm going to use this shape to hide this lower graph with the green line. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. 
And you can see at this point the entire graph is covered. Um, so you might want that level of protection and confidentiality, like if you really want to cover up everything about the graph. It's also possible, though, that you might want to just cover up the data on the graph. So I'm going to shrink this down. And to do that, you just grab one of these corner handles and shrink it down. And I'm going to drag the box up so that it covers. OK, that's not quite right. Let me just reposition that. There we go. So now you can see, um, again, you can see the x and y axes of my graph, but you can't actually see the data on there. So that's a very simple way to cover up a full section or um, just one element of your page. Now, as far as actually creating the screenshot, you can use whatever tool you have on your machine or your device. I'm using a Windows machine, so I use the snipping tool. I'm going to show you where that is. It's right over here in my... Um, Windows app menu. It's called the snipping tool. If I'm on my uh, tablet or phone, I will use the snipping tool that comes with uh, that device. But you can use any snipping tool that comes on your machine or your device to make your screenshot. So that's it. There we have three ways to hide data on your OneNote page so that you can create a screenshot without showing that data. Now, if you have any questions or comments on this video, please leave them in the comments section, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you liked it. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.